video will be doing the Easter eggs for your Season 6, Episode 12, Marvel's Agents of Shields. Be aware, spoiler, not gone up. So this is Part 2. This is mainly focusing on the Lighthouse stuff. Uh, so if you want to talk about May, the May and Temple stuff, go to my last video and we can talk there. This is mainly about the Lighthouse stuff. So, yeah. There weren't a lot of Easter eggs or references in this part of this, like, episode. Uh, so I'll just be getting, doing it very quickly. Uh, where we started the episode where uh, the team is getting ready to go to the, on the mission, like I was said in the previous episode. Uh, but you have you had this idea that in the last episode where they could figure out a way they figured out a way to uh, stop Izel from jumping into body from body, and you have. Me uh, Deke surprised the team with the whole, like a whole case full of the of these devices, and they're shocked that they he they ma he managed to figure it, uh, managed to do them in such amount a uh, short amount of time, and he says to them that I picked up a few tricks in the private sec sector, which we didn't find out in, until a couple minutes later of what he actually was meaning, and that was that he somehow managed to. Ju uh, bring his entire company uh, to the to the lighthouse whether he snuck it in or Mac let him in let them in uh, I it's po it's either possibility because Mac uh, was called Deke grew up in the lighthouse so he knows how to get in and out of it pretty easily and plus it's a like they he says it's a private sector no one has been on that floor so it would probably be a lot easier to get on that floor without anyone noticing but it's also a possibility that Mac let them in because at the beginning of the season, the big a big issue that Mac actually tasks Maeve to do was to find people that had, uh, are very are, are brains and not brawn because, uh, that was all um, May was finding was all the like all the muscle that uh, they had at the beginning of the season. They didn't really have the brain, and that's why they brought in Benson and all that kind of stuff. So having uh, tech company that uh, Mac half owns now, I guess, or ten percent, ten percent of it would make sense that he brought them into the lighthouse. Maybe they just he just never got around, uh, uh, got around to telling anyone about it yet. So yeah, it's a possibility. Uh, and uh, you have this idea that uh, fin uh, Deke figured out to get. Uh, was able to figure out how to get someone into the field to help Mac and Yo-Yo and uh, Flint, uh, and that was by using a, dr a jump drive uh, that they were using for the Zephyr One and all that kind of stuff. And uh, he apparently has been calling it the Straw Drive, and he really regretted that. But you have, of, you have, Ma uh, Deke realize that the bringing some uh bringing his family members to his company wasn't the best thing to do cuz it's going he's definitely going to get embarrassed by have uh, bringing a family member to his business because uh the moment they get into uh Fitz and Simmons uh realize what's going on and that he brought all these people into the lighthouse uh Fitz t t says uh that you stole all this all this comp uh, all these tech this tack or whatever, but then you have uh, Deke mentioned right back to Fitz is that Shield stole it from the Remorath, so they're not really any better. Maybe maybe slightly better because they're not profiting prof profits uh, like they're not gaining money from uh, this tech, unlike uh, Deke is. But like he, they did steal the the tech as well, so they're no. They're not really better than Deke is in this situation, so yeah. But you have this interaction with Fitz once you realize that Deke is creating a video game based on the framework, saying, is that framework code? And he's like, uh, kind of twitchy about it and whatnot, so yeah. And uh, you have uh, this also interaction with uh, Fitz and Deke uh, talking about the... Sh the Shaw Drive, Jump Drive, or whatever you want to call it, uh, where uh, he says that uh, he's 
they've done a lot of tests on the jump drive, and he says most of the mice survive, and you see this, an, like, a little bit annoyed face on uh, Fitz, and I don't understand that, I don't really understand why he's annoyed in that situation, because Fitz was willing to, willingly used mice as test dummies in season one, so why would, why is Deke not allowed to do that? Uh, so, if you know the answer, just comment down below, because I, I never understood, I didn't understand why he was ticked off in that situation, even though it was funny, I just, do, it doesn't make sense to me. So, yeah. And you have uh, Deke mention that, mention to Fitz that the reason um, Fitz is all mad about what's going on or whatever is because Fitz is jealous of Deke for coming up with a solution of this problem, which he quickly denies about, denies saying that why would he be jealous? It's because all this tech is his or like his inventions are are his uh, but it is kind of true in a sense because that was a big part of his ep like like mini arc that he had uh, since being re reunited with F uh, Simmons is being jealous of himself so since Deke is so much like Fitz in a sense because with the same man mannerisms and like stances and whatnot he's he probably is jealous of Deke in this situation so yeah like, you see uh, how he, like, crosses, they cross their arms, and once Fitz notices it, you see a little bit ticked off. So he might be a little bit jealous of uh, Fitz in a sense that he's figured out the way to uh, jump, get into uh, the field. So, yeah. And you finally see this big blow-up thing that uh, Deke, uh, Deke has with uh, saying that he built... He, he finally reveals why he actually built this company in the first place. And he says he built this be uh, company because no one liked him. He ha he says all his friends are gone, which is kind of funny because later on in the episode, uh, or in a few seconds later actually, is that he jumps into the field and meets up with one of his friends from 2901, Flint. So he's no he's his friends are no, at least one of his friends are no longer gone. So, yeah, uh, but he says, uh, the woman that I gave lemons to, uh, thinks I'm, doesn't like him, thinks I'm nothing, and all that kind of stuff, we're, we're referring to, uh, Daisy last season, I believe it was episode 18, 19, something like that, uh, but she said, he says, my, my best friend turned out to be a spy, talking about Trevor Khan in episode four, how he was a spy for Shield, uh, and says, "My girlfriend turned out to be a psychopath," which uh, Simmons thought it was Snowflake he, she was talking he was talking about, but turned out to be Sequoia, which is true. She was kind of a psychopath in a different sense, but yeah. And those were the only Easter eggs or references for uh, the lighthouse, and the only little thing that I'm not gonna talk about for long is the little uh, scene at the end of the episode with uh, Enoch and Isaiah I want to say is uh, he find he they are on Kitson and he it's revealed that all the Chromicons that uh, Enoch tasked Isaiah to find were actually turned into hunters now uh, so he has a bit of a problem now that he has no more, like, has no other support to fall back on, but he goes through all these list num names or whatever and photos, and I'm not going to pronounce any of them because I'm bad with a lot of names. So, but like with all the other Chromicons that came before uh, Enoch or it came after Enoch, uh, they're all biblical names. So, all the people, all the names on that list were are people from the Bible. So, yeah. Uh, so that was it for the episode. So comment down below if I missed any Easter eggs or references for the lighthouse and the Kitson episode or Kitson scene or whatever. So yeah, see ya.